one of the most unique players in college basketball, Coleman Hawkins. Shooting 38% from three this year. He also leads the team in steals and blocks as Reed goes to work and hooks it in. They got some grit and some nastiness here to start. So one of the opposite of what we saw on Saturday in Lincoln, and then draw the contact, put in the bucket. Terrence Williams, the second, a chance for three. Right there, that's D.C. all day, baby, with some mumbo sauce. Terrence Williams, the third. I think the match can get going at some point. This Illinois offense, staggeringly good. They are one of the best in the country. Sixth in adjusted offense by Ken Palm, and there's a long ball. Oh, good defense without fouling by Michigan. Tough drive by Shannon as well. Numbers the other way. Williams up and under, spins it in. Eight to shoot now for Hawkins. Working on three. The cross, the sauce, the mask. Way downtown. Oh, yeah. Marcus, the mask. Splash. And you know what? Jawan Howard claps his hands because Terrence Williams was in good position defensively. It's not, they're not accustomed to guarding some of the 30 feet for the puck. Oh, crafty by Llewellyn in the response. Gentlemen, shooting the three like a layup and the mask. He was missing. And I will say this this Illinois team is not soft. They may have been soft at times at Michigan State, and he knows they're not soft. He's just trying to get a message across to them. And there's another block for Hawkins up ahead for Shannon, working on Tom Wall. Floats it up and in. Wait a minute. The offense right there. 23 points for him in his last three after a sluggish return from suspension. Reed statement. Uh oh, Terrace Reed rocks the rim. Nice feed inside. That high low action's been successful. Six points for Rodgers. That is fast break perfection. Burnett left alone. Can't hit the three. Oh, again, they're running. Shannon Euros and finishes. Oh, that should have been an and one. Line is starting to look like that top 10 team we've seen. And this is a helpless feeling if you're directing traffic, three to shoot, in for danger. He's gonna have to put it up here. He doesn't even see the clock and somehow screws it in. Well, that's a tough move. And Michigan has gone cold on the offensive end. That was a dangerous pass. George Washington is in the game. And he was running down the lane and said, Oh! Look out! Oh my goodness! Trey Jackson! Ooh. Trey Jackson! How you do, big fella? Oh, I thought if Quincy Gary stayed in that corner, he would have got an open look. The match can't make the defense pay, and a nice job by the freshman Washington to track down the long board. Great pass ahead, and Cheddar behind the defense. Third, getting some early minutes, and as you said, taking advantage here. I mean, that is hard to pass. Incredibly well. I think Johnson was as great as shooters are going to find at the time, and that's a perfectly designed law. Llewellyn to Reed and Kamwa to check back in. Well, you got Jalen Llewellyn in a high ball screen with Terrace Reed Jr. And Coleman Hawkins has to make a decision. He leans up. Eight on the shot clock. Shimmy shake. Llewellyn kick. Kamwa on Gary. A baseline drive. Oh! Kamwa takes the imaginary ladder and rips down the rim. I didn't think there was an angle for him to get to the bucket. He jumps back to this Illini run. Up by double digits, and just like that, it's back to a one-possession game. Goody, extra, Shannon, corner, three back. Rodgers the other way. Leave it. Shannon, no hesitation. Money! Woo. One of the best two-way players in all of college basketball. Looks like he's going to score here. Rejects the screen. Kick it. Goody. He got it! A three! I thought Michigan would try to reestablish themselves in the paint like they did at the start. Oh, what a cross and a finish! The hope and harm for Terrence Shannon Jr. That allowed the open look. But watch Shannon. He sees Jalen Llewellyn. He's got the... They have been a high metric team this season as Reed can't finish inside. Rebound caught four. Reed pulls it in. And Reed has a chance for three. Hey, Terrence Reed Jr. likes gathered himself went up with some street like right here he just leaves it short this time though fights through the contact nice really proud of how his team has handled maybe some adverse situations throughout the year step back shannon three ball oh it's pretty he just he is totally in his bag i low and there it is he must have heard you because he didn't just tear the rim down he shook that entire basket shannon Around the perimeter, keep the defense stretch. Oh, to mask, what a move! Ooh, nearly finished. Garrier right there for the stick back. Well, in the trigger, 20 to shoot. 
And it's knocked away. Harmon got a hand on it. Here comes Shannon. Full head of steam. Bounce it. Rogers back to Shannon for the deep. Oh, veterans took over, but Illinois, to me, I thought they played extremely well for 34 minutes of that ball game. Tom Wall to fend off and finish. Olivia Kamwa, this, you didn't see this offensive package when he was at Tennessee. Mainly a defender. I mean, he, he hit Duke in the Sweet 16 for about 26, but he was not a scorer at this level. Burnett up ahead, Llewellyn behind the back. Great fast break. Becoming eligible, but the main guy is Jeremiah Williams. Big Ten Player of the Week has been a revelation. Arm into the rim. Oh, great court. 14-2015. They lost five of six in February, and they got to the final four. So it, no need to panic if you're in mad town. Especially with that roster. You've got so much experience, so many guys who have played in big time games. Of course, a team that a couple of years ago was a winner in the Big Ten Conference. I think I could get some NIL from Kendall Gill, <laughs> some delayed NIL, so yeah. I help him get that. A hundred percent. You okay. deserve at least a percentage. Okay. You're like his agent. Oh, look out. The seas part, and Gary throws it all. Put it on his bill. I, I do that. Nice up fake. Gets a ball going live. <laughs> Shannon, the cross, oh, the sauce. Goodness. Oh, oh goodness. Goodness. That, that move by the grad transfers they brought in, they're all in place, and Brad Underwood knows what it takes from there. Oh, I totally agree. You know, you got a guy like the mass contact, but it will be free throws for Jackson. And here's that always under control, Marcus the mass. Yeah, take it a step further, and not just a grueling conference, but this is the only home game in an 11 day stretch for Illinois. If they get another turnover and attacking the rim, easy bucket for Harmon. That one a little off the mark from Gibb Lawhorn. Washington rips it away, gets it up. Kamwa, extra. Nice feed for the easy finish for Williams. And that's a learning experience all in itself to have to do it on the fly during the season. There's no doubt about it. And, you know, just getting your guys to play hard all each and every night is easier said than done in this conference. And they have done exactly that. Even when they've been down big like they are right now. Another bucket for Williams. Seems like Michigan does have a, a, a gauntlet to finish the regular season. Oh, good look. And Danger gets up high. Well, one of the two teams you mentioned, Rutgers. And Michigan has to go to Jersey Mike's Arena as well. Ooh, and uh, Jer Jersey Mike's is always rocking, but boy, they are really energized right now with the way their team is playing. Moretti will dribble it out. Final five seconds in Champaign. Talk about a bounce back. The Illini following the tough loss on Saturday.